G'day team. Welcome to this month's uh, newsletter. Kind of in the sun, so I apologize if I'm squinting, but we'll get straight to it and uh, won't take up too much of your time. So this weekend we have, on Saturday, we are running a, a workshop for some rowing technique. If you didn't know already, we have some absolute elite rowers in the gym. Um, and they were very kind enough to throw on a little half hour workshop for us. Um, which would be very good. Rowing is one of those things where you can put in as much effort as you like, but if you're not doing it efficiently, then you're just going slow, to be honest, you're going slow. So we're gonna hit up that. That's at 8.30 um, on Saturday. And then we're, the class afterwards is gonna be a 60 minute uh, AMRAP of a row, but not individually in two big teams. And then maybe the losing team buys the winning team lunch or something, but you know, either of that. We'll just have a bit of fun with it. <laughs> fun fact for those rowers out there, if you know, you know, um, the world record for the longest or the fastest one hour um, rose at a 136.1 split. So it's pretty freaking fast. Uh, if you know how fast that is, you know how fast that is. And then on the same day at 5.30 p.m., we're going to watch CrossFit Games right over here. We'll get the fire pit out, maybe some beers, throw on a barbie, um, do some fun stuff. So if you're going to come to that, let me know. I can buy you a sausage. Um, and then we'll get into that. So crusty gains outside fire pit, can't go wrong. Um, I think that'll be a fun night ahead. Now, events dialed. Then we've got a couple things I need to tell you about. Zach and I have changed our schedule around um, to help with Zach's, some of Zach's study that he's doing. And so he's gonna now be working Tuesday, Thursdays, and I'm gonna be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, which means we're gonna move the weightlifting class to Wednesday, Friday, and it's going to be like a Wednesday will be a technical day, more reps, things like that. And then Friday will be a max out day. So Friday 6.30 class is now, instead of Friday night fix, it's max outs, um, which is kind of fun. And then we're not ditching the fix completely. What we're going to do is we're going to put that on the Saturday that Zach's working. So every second Saturday for one hour, we'll have a longer mobility class, get the body prepped. Um, learn some things about how you move and things like that. And then in the opposite end, not 100% confirmed, but if there's popularity for it, we've got our workshop this week. I'm gonna move forward a little bit. We've got our workshop this week. I was thinking if I'm on, I could quite easily run a half hour workshop before class of just some skill that we might wanna pick on. Um, so if that sounds like... Trains. If that sounds like something you're keen on, then uh, let me know and I'll do it. It shouldn't be too hard. I do have some good teaching skills that I've been uh, accumulating out the last 12 years, so I think we can get that done. Um, that's all changed in Fitbox too, so appreciate that. Speaking of Fitbox, I appreciate everyone sorting out their Fitbox bits and pieces. Um, it's always hard going in any system, but we're in there now, and this system's still developing lots of cool stuff. I talk to the, the guy who runs the company quite regularly, um, and they're, they're always trying to implement new things, so. If you get ideas, no matter how simple, uh, let me know and we'll put it through to them and see if they can build it for us. Uh, we've run out of paleo bars, in case you're wondering, um, and I haven't gotten more because the company is just sold <laughs> to someone else. And so they've changed their wholesale bits and pieces. So I'm just still sorting that out. So if you're addicted to paleo bars, uh, I apologize. I'll get them as soon as I can, but um, sometimes these things take time when you have new systems. So is what it is. Um, if there's anything else you want me to sell, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, I am trying to get onto some uh, like pre-made meals because I think some people might enjoy that. So um, if you're keen for that, let me know. If you know where to get them from, also let me know. I'll see what I can do. But a lot of these companies are busy and they just take time to get back to the small players like us. So we'll get there. Let's talk about programming for a second. Um, we have one more month left of our current phase of programming. Um, and it's quite fun, to be honest. Lots of good feedback. Um, obviously doing similar things you're gonna get better at them it's kind of the same thing you do something consistently for a long time you're gonna get better at it so there's no drama there in this final month though I would recommend um, that you push to you know we use the RPE scale but a lot of people don't understand what RPE 10 means RPE 10 means like like you're unconscious on the ground after maybe not that much uh, it means you push really hard, okay? Which means RPE 9 is really hard and RPE 8 should be really hard. So, um, especially if you're new um, and you're not really pushing to that failure limit, it's okay to fail, right? Just 
go to it. If you fail, who cares? It's just training. This is what we do. Um, at least we know where that limit is and uh, really go for it. We need to, to be able to get better at these things, you need the, the stimulus to go beyond what you think you can. And, uh, and in this last month, I've just been ramping up towards this. This is the month to do it. So if you're going for it, go for it. You know, really have a crack. Be safe about it. Use spotters. Um, use the right movements, you know, talk to your coaches, but it should be, should be, we should be getting after it by this stage. Um, and I hope that you feel the gains and you get the results. I've already put in the test week to happen. Um, we're going to split it up across the fortnight, uh, across the two week period again. So it'll be on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, that's on the, first, it's the week that the 1st of September happens. Um, and then the next program is going to be very crossfitty. Um, lots of skills, lots of drills. Um, I'll tell you more about it next month, but it's looking exciting so far. I get to go back to programming, which is exciting for me. Um, so yeah, in case you didn't know, this weekend as well, all the things are going on this weekend, our young friend Tommy, who's not young anymore and just beats the crap out of us in every workout, but he's going to be off in Melbourne doing his CrossFit cert. Um, so then he can tell us how to be as good as him, hopefully one day. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be as good as Tommy. Um, so, you know, if you see him, talk to him about it. I'm sure he's super keen. Um, and then come next week, you can uh, ask him how he went and, um, you know, get, him, get his advice on things. You gotta remember that I say this all the time, but he's been training, formally training for longer than I have. So he'll be a nice addition to the team. So I look forward to that. And then I like to keep things brief, but I've already gone for seven minutes. <sighs> What else have we got? We have a, cause it was our birthday the other day and we're kind of doing a little, I was gonna say this Saturday's a birthday party, but you know, maybe there'll be cake. Should there be cake? Do you want cake? That's the question. Do you want cake? I don't want cake. Maybe Daniel's donuts might be better. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a little promotion at the moment. So if you've got any friends you wanna come down, um, hit us up. Um, we can give them a little promotional free week or free 10 days to celebrate 10 birthdays. Um, and yeah, if they're keen, they can sign up. And if they're not keen, then don't stress. All good. But if you know anyone, let us know or let them know. I can send you the link very, very easily. Um, and then, yeah, it's always good. It's always, if you know something's cool and you want to share it with people, then that's the number one rule, you know? Number one rule, don't talk about CrossFit. Number two rule, break all the rules. So, excellent. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. Oh, actually, no, there's two more things. One more thing. We have two new members who come up this month. So I'm very humbled that you guys... Um, to come in. We have Cam, who's training at 6am, top bloke. If you see him, he's an absolute legend. Um, you know, say hi, get to know him. And then Beck, who's doing our weightlifting class at night time as well. Um, she trains at CrossFit Bells Beach, our friends. Um, but she likes to come in and do a bit of weightlifting as well because, you know, we're the coolest weightlifting gym in the town. I'm not saying neither here nor there, but I think that's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure you say hi to those two. And Beck will be one of the people helping out on uh, the rowing on the weekend, so because she's an absolute weapon of a rower. So good, excellent. I'm done. Cool. Carry on. See ya.